line to Wheezy Appeal, sectioned Mahoney and the favourite Trident Lotto. So good luck if you're playing with us tonight here for the Auckland Greyhounds. 12 races, first of 12 about to get underway, set and ready. And they're racing, pinging away was Family's Pride. Wheezy Appeal got away nicely and tried it. Lotto now goes up to match rides with Family's Pride back in third. Big Bolt followed through by Boss Lady Sloy. Section wider on the track and in behind it all in all trying to track into the race. Wheezy Appeal's getting no luck at the back with Mahoney as they come down. Tried it. Lotto, former Australian home from Big Bolt second. Third on would have been sectioned and they were followed by all in all for first four players. Back in the field we had their uh, Mahoney with Family's Pride in the last two. Wheezy Appeal, no luck today and a Boss Lady Sloy was one of the last to go by. Former Australian Trident Lotto for trainer Carolyn Hoare. 2.41.50 will take out the first. Nice run from five. Big Bolt to be second. And the third across will get that shortly. The four sectioned. Just ahead of the late finish from three all in all. 18 and 78. The winner's time here. Trident Lotto. So start, uh, start one here in NZ, tried at Lotto, and it began quite well. Probably the third fastest away. Wheezy appealed, showed speed. Family's Pride was actually the quickest away of them. And a tried at Lotto goes down to the line nicely to score in a time of 18 and 78. Eight will beat the five. Big Bolt, nice run. Four sectioned, not, uh, boxing on well for a nice third. And three, all in all, uh, having a last dash at them late will be the fourth of them home. And off the box as we go here, tried at Lotto, uh, comes down knocks up against Family's Pride it was the early leader and at this point Trident Lotto just took away although uh, just got back on its down on his back legs there at that corner and uh, but from there on was never going to be beaten the black pitch mantra lad out of uh, or Ketra win number five at start number 11 getting home by three and a quarter so three and a quarter lengths by three quarters of a length and the split First line coming up, One Way Pyro, Breakthrough, Willie Ralston and Rebel City. Second line, Kiss the Blarney, Madam Razor, Fly My Pretty and Fiery Conquest all come forward. So we're all boxed and set. We get the way, we get the green light, and we're ready for action. Race number two, favourite from five, we'll watch how he jumps. And racing Willie Ralston, he was okay, uh, way okay. One way Pyro and Fly My Pretty showed the earliest of speed and breakthrough. And then in behind them there, Rebel City trying to get into the race with Willie Ralston, the favourite underneath them. And Madam Razor, and there was a bit of trouble out the back between Kiss the Blarney and Fiery Conquest. Up comes Fly My Pretty. Fly My Pretty fly, uh, flew away there to beat Rebel City. Third home would have been One Way Pyro. They were tracked through by breakthrough. And then we had Willie Ralston in conjunction with Madam Razor, Kiss the Blarney. And a Fiery Conquest was the last to go by. Fly My Pretty, 10, 40 and 2, 60. Gets home here. Start number 12, win number 1. And she's really turned around her form line with that win. Coming into this on the back of a 8, 5, 6, 7, 6 form line. The bitch by just the best out of Reba Coroma for Ben and Barbara Crate. Get home nicely to beat 7, Rebel City. One one-way Pyro will be third and a favourite Whirly Ralston, fourth the best he could do on debut, 18 and 71 for the winner. And a Fly My Pretty just, uh, well, yeah, trying to flew away from the, didn't she? The uh, light form bitch by just the best, Reba Karoma gets home nicely to score from seven Rebel City. One one-way Pyro was there and Whirly Ralston, the favourite, was fourth across the line. Kiss the Blarney was away just a little bit slowly and then one-way Pyro just came across and interrupted there with the run of Rebel City. Uh, luckily, uh, Fly My Pretty had enough speed to get ahead of that trouble. So Rebel City, uh, in hindsight, bit of an unlucky... And up comes the second line, including the favourite Thrilling Mayhem, Tennessee Ave, Russian Doll and Sky High Levi. So they're all in, and we've got the green light. And the bunny's on the move for the third. Set and ready. Maiden distance. Uh, maiden distance over the 5 to 7. They're off and racing. LaRue jumped well. Russian Doll shows, er shows up early with Thrilly Mayhem, the favourite. Then back and forth, we've got Tennessee Ave underneath Diamond Walk, half a length away, and down to the inside is Versatile Richie. Further back, Sky High Levi and Legal Aid is the last of them as LaRue takes them down the back straight and off the top it comes. Up on the outside, Thrilly Mayhem now puts their head into second ahead of Russian Doll. Further back is Tennessee Ave, then Sky High Levi on the inside of Versatile Richie. Thrilly Mayhem puts the head in charge. Here comes Russian Doll late. Russian Doll got up to beat to three mayhem and then LaRue was home for third they were followed in by we had Tennessee out there with Sky High Levi and then Legal Aid 
Diamond Walk, and one of the last to go by would have been Versatile Richie. Russian Doll puts the hit up right on the line to get up at $3.90 and $1.80 from the favourite Thrilling Mayhem. Had her chance today, the favourite, and she's been run down in the final bit. And LaRue will be a third across the line ahead of four Tennessee Ave. 31.06 for the winner, Russian Doll. So right up on the line we'll get Russian Doll, the Brindle Bitch Magambo Royal Doll for trainer Steve Clark. He had two in the affair. A thrilling mayhem would have been uh, was second across LaRue. A nice fresh up run should benefit from that. And the fourth of them across the four in Tennessee Ave. As we watch the head on here, Russian Doll showed speed. LaRue was, uh, as well was up there. And a thrilling mayhem just wanting to veer wide uh, just across the uh, or finishing post here on the first occasion. Kim.com, in fact, just drifted now. Deb Bale, second favourite at 5.10 and endorse at $6.10. So they're all locked and loaded. Race number four, favourite from the eight in Lachlan Valley. And racing and a good jump here from Jets and Jewel showing up early. Deb Bale from the inside drawer endorsed going forward with South Bay Dream and also in that pack was barely possible and Kim.com up handier. Further back in the field we go back to Hot Pooty followed by South Bay Dream and last is Jets and Jewel's up they come. Lachlan Valley goes for home. Deb Bale on the inside and further back Kim.com Lachlan Valley beats Deb Bale. Third home would have been Kim.com. They were followed in by endorse and then we have barely possible in company with Hot Pooty and South Bay Dream and Jets and Jewel's was one of the last to go by. Lachlan Valley favourite will get home, 271.70. Deb Bale, a dollar eighty, and Kim.com, two dollars and ninety cents. And the dog by Black Enforcer, 123rd race night appearance tonight, or race day appearance, win number 14 for Pyroar trainer Ron O'Regan. So Lachlan Valley, 18 and 83. The time has gone up for Lachlan Valley. And uh, quickest previously was 18 and 82. So one split off uh, its fastest previous. But uh, Lachlan Valley will get home nicely. Deb Bale managing to keep the favourite honest uh, right to the line. And uh, Kim.com, again, as mentioned, just prior to the race. And uh, where's the cat? It's 660 and 150. Where's the rain? It's here. So as the green light uh, is pressed, we're all set to go for race number five. Almost there. And racing, pinging away was Shelby King showing up early, knock knock lady and wider on the track was Asia Rosti, hunting up and behind them was Yambler Fly and looking for a Ray round them is Corball Ray, the favourite, where's the cat uh, got a bit of advantage there, runs into second ahead of Asia Rosti, back at the tail Homebush Greta with Yambler Fly but up comes Shelby King, Shelby King goes on to score from where's the cat, third home Asia Rosti, they were followed in by we had knock knock lady ahead of the Homebush Greta and in company with it was Corball Ray, the favourite, didn't have a lot of luck Yambler Flyer and just ahead of it was Blearly alive. Shelby King, first New Zealand start for Dane Green. We'll do the job here. Former racing over there in the New South Wales and takes its winning tally to now two from 15. But he's done it in style in treacherous conditions here. Shelby King. Second will be the two. Where's the cat? And the six, Asia Rosti, will be yet again third ahead of the nine, Knock Knock Lady. So there was just a bit of uh, trouble there mid-stages, and I'm pretty sure Corborn Ray did cop a bit of that. Uh, where's the cat cop the better side of that and just got the nice run in behind them there, as we'll have a look at the replay of that shortly. Asia Rosti was a distance third, and uh, Knock Knock Lady will be the fourth of them home ahead of an unlucky favourite in Corborn Ray. Off the boxes, the rain tumbles down. Shelby King jumped well, and uh, jumping with it there uh, would have been Where's the Cat. Was this, in fact, in behind it? Knock Knock Lady came across there, and there was a bit of bumping Asia Rosti, and let's just see what happened here, Corborn Rave, there we go, just copped a bit of a check there. In a fourth, so seven, two, six, and eight, and what is a tricky one. About to box up for the Greyhound Function Centre Stakes over the 527 metres, class ones, and the favourite from the outside trap, Ginger Jam, 270 and 120. Six dollars now for one Tata Safari, and 640 for seven, King's Legacy. Boxing the second line up, Ike Jones, Al Burney, Corborn Penny, Ginger Jam, the favourite. So they just get Ike uh, locked in there, and we've got the green light. Set and ready to go for race number six. Nearly there. 
and they're racing now pinging away the favourite Ginger Jam from the outside trap goes straight to the Lee King's Legacy tracking into it followed by Al Burney and back along the inside is Judge to Excel then we go back to Corborn Penny and just passing it there was Tata Safari back in the field to White Jones and last of all Lucy Licious down the back they go Ginger Jam leads there by length from King's Legacy now gets underneath it back in third is Al Burney two and a half lengths away and then a further five back to Judge to Excel and then Tata Safari leads the rest in with Ike Jones but up comes King's Legacy King's Legacy goes for home and scores well from Ginger Dam and Al Burney was third home ahead of uh, Judge to Excel for first fours they were followed back in the field by Ike Jones Corborn Penny with it was Tata Safari and Lucy Licious was the last to go by King's Legacy nice win 570 and 140 didn't jump as well as the favourite in Ginger Jam but went through with it tracked into the race really nicely and just got underneath the favourite off the top did the King's Legacy Ginger Jam fights on for second and four Al Burney will be the third of them home ahead of three and judge to excel pretty comfortable win in the end to King's Legacy trained at uh, Fakatane by James Black and off the boxes now let's have a look at these two outside drawn uh, runners King's Legacy just quick enough to get across Lucy Licious and Corborn Penny in the meantime Ginger Jam had gone to the front and it's probably there uh, the winning of the race where uh, King's Legacy